Hi everybody. I think today's Thursday, so happy Thursday. Um, hopefully I can get this video up today. I'm not sure. Uh, but I did a purchase um, from my sweet friend, Daniela. She is the owner of the Art Life. I'm going to put her links down below. She owns her own website. And then she also sells in a Facebook group. She has an Instagram account. So you, there's different ways to keep up with her. Um, so I'm going to show you um, what I bought from her. And what I do is I personally, since I know her, I just go to her website. Or I'll go to the Facebook group. Facebook group that she sells in and I'll just tell her what I want until I fill up a box and then I'll have her ship the box to me. Um, she only lives a few hours from me and I met her through my best friend, Danette. So let me show you the first item that I bought. Um, I believe she said that Authentique is now out of business. Um, but what she did was she was able to track down some um, authentic and the paper line is called Dame and she created a card kit so what I have bought are kits except for one I bought a whole collection because I'm crazy like that okay so in this card kit she will send you instructions on how to make the card and then she'll send you all the items so not only do you get like either paper and stickers but she'll send you cards envelope twine flowers ribbon whatever okay so she has in here cut out card stock for each of the cards it looks like. I don't want to take everything out. Okay, so she has all those. And then here's the card bases that um, the cardstock will go on. And then you also get <clears throat> a little pouch. And in here she has some Venice, uh seam binding thank you I was having a blank you've got some wood veneers you've got some um, enamel um, jemmies and then you've got different kinds of paper flowers um, and you got this uh, two big flowers right here and then you get these um, card stock stickers and again, this is for Dame. <clears throat> and then here are some three by four cut aparts, which I think are so pretty. So, so pretty. And then she has this beautiful aqua cardstock. And then there's this cardstock from Simple Stories that I guess matches with this. Um, collection and it's um it's textured paper and it's got like polka dot background so pretty okay so I bought this card kit that she created and I got two kits and I believe she has a few extra so if you love um this card kit that she created definitely message her. I believe it's also on her website as well. Um, but if you don't see it on her website, um, definitely message her to see if maybe she has one in her stash that she's willing to part with. So, um, let's see. I bought that. I bought, um, a second one and I actually might go for a third kit if she has any. Um, let's see. I also bought this um, uh, 
collection. What is this called? It's Color Play and it's called Easter Wishes and it's by Becky Moore. So there's all these uh, different 12 by 12s. Um, you get a sticker sheet. You get um, cut apart. These are probably three by four. Um, and it says bonus paper. Bonus paper pack includes one 12 by 12 bonus pattern. So this must be the bonus sheet that's in there. So cute. And then here are the stickers. You can see a better image. So cute. And then you also get, let's see, you get these um, frames and little um, die cut pieces. And the back doesn't show you what you get. Um, but you get little um, sentiments as well for the die cut. So I think so cool. I don't want to take it out, you guys. Um, I've got a lot. Um, going on here so I'm just doing this really quick as a favor to her okay and next I fell in love with oh that Easter wishes she also sells um a flip flap kit it's one that she designed so it'll have all the instructions all the um cardstock will be cut out for you and all you have to do is just um, I think it might even be assembled, maybe. I don't know. But contact her about the um, Photo Plate Easter Wishes Flip Flap Book. It's basically like a mini album, sort of. It's like a hybrid between a mini album and a um, flip book. Okay. Next, I fell in love with um, the Simple Vintage Life in Bloom by Simple Stories. Daniela said... Um, that it's sold out in a lot of places. Um, I, I'm assuming they hit it out of the park with this and everyone is buying it up. So if you're lucky enough to buy it somewhere, buy it. I bought the entire collection from her. She also has, uh, I think, a, a Simple Vintage Life in Bloom card kit. She also has a beautiful journal that she will... Um, I think it's spiral bound and you just have to decorate it with, um, the kit. Um, it even, even in the journal, it even has like acetate sheets and it's all bound for you. So all you have to do is, um, decorate it and keep it or gift it. Okay. So I'm going to take these sheets out. Everyone may have seen it or maybe not. I don't know since it was really popular. Um, I want to see and touch you guys. Okay. So, oh, cool. Okay. So the back, the back side of this cover sheet is a usable cardstock page. Very nice. Love that idea. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. So it has very faint, like, uh, um, book page, I guess you would say, like a watermark or type font. And then back here, you have like a label, a very faint label. It's so pretty. And look at this. It's a distressed polka dot page. And up here in the top corner, it has like book page a little bit. And then very faintly over here. So pretty. And then down here really pretty. I love this collection. Oh, look at this. So pretty. Again, I bought the whole everything that goes with this. Look at these butterflies. I'm going to try and get it close up as possible. So pretty. And then you have the um, type setting letters. So pretty. Oh. And then look at this, like ledger paper, calendars. It's a real pretty collage of different types of paper. 
Wow, so pretty. And then you have something similar, but in color here. So pretty. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at this. So pretty. And this is the back. Ooh, look at the back side. This is black, and then all the polka dots are varying colors. Look at that. And then you have a little bit of distress in the corner, a little distress up here. And then in the top corner, a little bit of distressing. And then all along here in different spots. So pretty. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Okay, I don't scrapbook, so this means nothing to me. So hopefully the back side will be pretty. But if you scrapbook, hello, there you go. Perfect for you. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, perfect. This will work for me. So this is um, different types of foliage. Did I see a bird in here? There's little butterflies. I thought I saw a bird, but maybe not. No, it must just be butterflies. So pretty, you guys. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This reminds me of, um, is that Kaiser Craft? I don't remember the name of the collection, but Kaiser Craft kind of had a sheet like this. So pretty. Gorgeous. I miss Kaiser Craft. They're a little more of a stationary company now than they are, um, scrap paper. <clears throat> oh, and then you have all these pretty, um, tags that you can put in a mini album or journal tags on the other side so I guess you just pick do you want the bold side or the more um lighter pastel -y part and then here are some cut aparts if you're doing um journals journals or mini albums wow you guys this is this is like for everybody like card makers tag makers journal makers so pretty i love this side and then here are some three by four cut aparts so pretty and then you have some diagonal borders here so pretty Oh wow, look at these. Gorgeous. So pretty. I don't know if she sold out of the whole collection or not. Okay, ooh, look at this camera. So these are four by six cutouts on this side. Ooh, look at this side. I'm, I want to buy all that I can on this. Okay, and then these are the um, card stock stickers. So I'm trying to get it in frame so you guys can see. Okay. And then still part of the collection is um, gingham that will match the cardstock that I just showed you. So pretty. So you have the smaller gingham here and then the bigger what which I think is called buffalo check. Correct me if I'm wrong guys. Is the bigger size called buffalo check? Oh. So the gingham comes distressed. So that's very nice guys. I'm not going to take out the sheets. Um, let's see. Okay, this is a uh, different order, but still from her. <laughs> I'll show you that in a second. Okay, and then still part of the collection from her. God, I think it was... Oh, God, I, don't, I hate to throw out a price and be wrong. But I thought it was around $40 for what I'm showing you. The gingham... Um, the um paper kit and then you get the um floral bits let's see oh here you go this is what the floral bits are 
And then the collection from her also comes with these jammies. And then you get the, they're calling them page pieces. And this is everything that is in it. So you get all of this. Um, these sheets here. Um, and the gingham. And like I said, it's somewhere around $40. Somewhere around there. Either below that or just a smidge above it. But check with her. It could even be on their website. Um, I'm just waiting for her to send me all of her links. Okay, so that was the big collection of Life and Bloom. And then I also bought more Life and Bloom, but something else. Okay. So I got two of these card kits that make these cards. And there's a total of eight cards. I've bought these before, which I love the Simple Stories card kits. It makes it easy for you. You just follow the instructions and boom, you're done. So you get all of this in this kit. And I picked up two, so I've got a lot of Life in Bloom, you guys. <laughs> and she made it easy for me. She just gave me this big Ziploc bag and put it all together. Okay, so there's that that I bought from her. Like I said, I just kept shopping until I filled up a box. Okay, that was what I paid for. And then as a gift, um, she gave me this, um, it's called Just Be You. And she calls it a flip flap book kit. Her name is Daniela Costa. This is her contact information by email. She also has a website. Um, she's also on Instagram, she's on Facebook, and then she also sells in a Facebook group. So let me show you, um, I don't know if I can get it open, I may not be able to get it open, you guys. I don't know. Okay, here we go, it's opening. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but, um, I did a lot of shopping and I wanted to do a good job showing you what I bought from her. And if you buy in that Facebook group that she sells in, you guys really have to know your prices because I was looking at some stuff and not to badmouth the other sellers. I'm just saying know your prices to know whether you're getting a good deal because my best friend and I were, were in there browsing and we both agreed that some of the sellers were like very high priced. Um, with some of the stuff that they were selling. Uh, let's see, does this... Okay. So for this flip flap book, apparently you get this six by six. Um, you get this ephemera. And then she has all these cutouts which I'm sure are gonna be in the directions. But I just wanna show you what's in the kit. So there's these. Um, these must make uh, like pockets of some kind or tuck spots. I'm just gonna go fast because this is getting really long, this video. There's these. And then she gives you this bag. I don't know if the bag is supposed to be part of the flip flap book or not, but. Or not, because I just ripped it with a swashy. Okay, you get um, some ribbon, some seam binding, some twine. You get this um, banner die cut, some gross grogain ribbon, and some of these. So I'm going to put these back in the bag so I don't lose this stuff. Okay, and then you get um, some chipboard and it's already, oh nice, 
it's already, um, she used her bone folder to uh, make these, uh, oh my God, help me out here. Scores, score lines. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, I feel so dumb. Okay, so this is all to make the flip flap book. And let me just show you some pictures so you get an idea of what a flip flap book is. See? And then when you open this up, it will look like that on the inside. And then open it up some more and you'll see these and these so and then there's instructions on how to make it okay so there was that as a gift for me probably because I spent so much damn money <laughs> okay and then she sent me one more gift um everybody got this that shopped in um the face group Facebook group that she sells in with other sellers so she made this little cutie right here and this little die piece actually looks like her uh puppy um French bulldog his name is Bruno and Bruno is gray and black and he is just as adorable as can be and um when I went to go visit my BFF we went and crafted at her house and uh, one of my boys had a outfit that was too big and I brought it up thinking maybe it would fit her puppy Bruno and it did. He looked so cute. So these are little goodie bags that she made for the selling group. Anybody that buy it from her, she um, just added little cutie things and a little thank you bag. So you've got these little cut aparts right here that you can make tags or use those tuck spots in a journal so cute and then I'll flip these over so you can see the back okay so thank you so much Daniela oh and here's these little enamel dots right here pretty 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 so thank you so much Daniela and I hope you all have enjoyed this I'm sorry it's so long but I did buy a lot of stuff and I wanted to um show you her goodies um and Daniela can buy pretty much from around the globe um through this one company so if you're looking for anything in particular and you you know the people that you go to um you can't find it through them contact her and she can um special order it for you and if there's stuff that's discontinued and um her supplier might have it let her know and she can look for it and order that for you as well okay thank you so much for watching god bless